Hi everyone, Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time is pretty much two in one. I'm playing about Procedure Worlds Ambient Skies and also we've got a demo scene from Aquarius Max's beautiful Wasteland 3 pack that's just come out on the Unity Asset Store. Ambient Skies from Procedure Worlds is well, it's like the golden ticket that's basically resolved all of my problems that I've ever had with Unity Lighting and Skyboxes. It's doing everything for me comes with so many presets, it is so easy to use. There's a bit of a spoiler here, I'm actually a fan. I'm sold because I made this beautiful lighting, this skybox, and I can just go piff, paf, puff, and muck about and completely change it. It just clicks of a button. It is crazy. Not only are we playing about with doing beautiful desktop things, but I've also been getting more and more into mobile. And if you need help with mobile as well, don't worry, Unity are here to help you. I'm going to put a link down below in the description for this shameless plug to this Unity free ebook using my affiliate code. I click on that link and fill in the form sends a bit of love my way and is greatly appreciated. Needless to say, I'm only really promoting things that I like to use myself, and this ebook has really helped me get started making optimized games for Unity. And I always feel that Unity is the engine of choice for making great mobile games. It's a shame though they could have made a better title. Six solutions to future-proof your mobile game optimization and operation. Bit of a mouthful, but download, put in your details, and you won't regret it. That I can guarantee, because it's free. But for now, don't forget to click on that juicy subscribe button and click like on this video while we pop over to Unity to play with Ambient Skies from Procedure Worlds and the Wasteland 3 pack from Aquarius Max. Well, here I am inside Unity. I've imported in Procedure Worlds Ambient Skies Pack, and I've also got in The Wasteland Volume 3 from Aquarius Max. That's just recently been released on the Unity Asset Store. It looks lovely, and as you can see, as beautiful as the ground and all the buildings are, the sky is a bit dull and boring. Ambient skies to the rescue. One thing I hate the most about Unity is having to worry about how to get lighting and skyboxes and everything to look nice and pretty. So I was very excited to hear about Ambient Skies from Procedure World. So let's go and play about this. Lots of tutorials. As always, I'm just going to jump straight in and see if I can break things. I'm just going to open this up to the touch. Enable Ambient Skies. Okay, let's do it. Global Settings. Open that up, and as you can see here, we've got this third party. Now, third parties to allow it to use such things as Enviro, um, Tenkoku, and all the other shenanigans. But we want to use. Ooh, look! We want to use the ambient skies. So um, I'm not playing about HDRP or anything like that. So ambient procedural skies is that one we wanting? Ooh, look! And immediately, as soon as I clicked it, it happened. This gives a full power of ambient skies to give you the best possible lighting and visual effects. All right, and this one. Oh, look at this one here. Nice big beautiful clouds. What does that say? HDRI. This uses HDRI skybox to add quality light and, and cloudy skies to your scene. HDRI skies are great but unlimited to scenes that do not need configurable time of day. There you go. So we're not going to be playing about time of day on this one. But if we were. Then you wouldn't, but procedural. This is a clear sky that updates based on light positions. The option is recommended for games that plan to use a time of day system with real time GI and lighting updates. Ooh. Okay, then let's go. And what's this one? Default procedural. What's that one? Default procedural. Select this disables most of ambient skies and renders a default procedural sky with a simple fog settings. Ah. Oh. I don't want that. I want this one. Okay, bye bye, little green question mark. Target platform, I'm going to do desktop and console. Not mobile, no VR. V sync, don't sync. And here we go. Matches frame rate to screen if you're fully V sync. You are using a deferred rendering to fo view fog. This requires post processing to render fog in scene. Okay, enable that magic. 
bang, I've already imported in post-processing, by the way. So immediately, look, just clicking things, and suddenly things are looking a lot more beautiful. Project settings, let's open this one up. I like how everything is controlled, contained within an easy-to-use little interface. I don't have to worry about popping over here and mucking about with other things. Ooh, nice. Uh, sun settings. Here we've got skyward settings. Ambient settings. Fog settings. Shadows and horizons. Ooh, this was a question like this. Enable horizon sky. Oh, uh, okay. That looks pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. Now we've got here, select system, ambient skies volume one. Okay, so that's what we're playing about with. Also, maybe we've got a load of presets that we can play about with. Oh, look here. Um, profile, sky one high. Oh, look, there is a load of different presets to play about with. Okay. Um, oh, wow. How did I miss this little drop down here for profiles? Oh, dang. Let's move this over here so we can see. Should we, should we go over here and make this? Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Let's go over here. And say mid six one. I like five. Five high. Mm. Five low. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. Post effects. Okay. Alright. These are on. Profile settings. We've got loads of default here for it. These as well. And I like how I can control all my post processing in here. I don't have to go and make a little uh, post processing profile and edit that separately. Nice. Oh, we've got a lot of these things here. I'm just going to mute myself for a second while I cough into the microphone. Hope you don't mind a little pop pop every now and again. There we go. I'm back again. I do apologize for that. So, post apocalyptic. That's pretty much where we're going, isn't it? Rohan. Oh. Fuji. Pop. Strong midnight. What have we got here? Potter Green. Is this Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Uh, high Fantasy. I'm going to go with Fuji Apoc. That's nice. And then we go Light Enable, Light Maps. So, this is going to be slow to bake my lighting. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the settings are here. Enable Real Time GI. Default, very low quality, very high quality. I like how there's a little question mark next to everything. Although, that one really didn't really tell us much. Um, ultra high. That's just going to cause my computer to, to freeze, isn't it? Ooh. Now, you are going to get much better. Much better quality. Do that set to GPU if we are going to be baking. That's the truth. So, oh, it's going to create a load of probes. Let's let's automatically generate some probes. Let's not do anything manual. Let's not do anything manual. Oh, wow. Okay, you know what we're going to do? What's auto generation do? Oh, it's doing stuff. It's got the auto generate tick box that we would have at the bottom. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's turn that off. Now I'm going to click on Generate Global Scene Reflection Probes. You're about to generate reflection probes to cover your whole terrain. Depending on terrain size, this could take some time. Oh, you know what? Let's just be crazy and do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go crazy. Okay. Uh, and light probes. Let's just go crazy. Let's just do this. Okay, that was quick. That was, that was, that was pretty crazy. Let's, let's just go now and, where have we got the, let's go with high quality lighting. Hi, let's go high, let's go high. I think high is good. I'm going to have to go ultra high, but let's go high. I don't think my computer can handle much more than that. And let's click on that baking and see what happens. Okay, it's going to take, oh look at that. Two minutes, not taking 10 years. Well, it is, it is a small demo scene. 
So let's just pause it while it does its magic. And uh, I'll get a cup of tea. All right. That was, that was really quick. And I'm just going to save uh, because I'm a little bit of a coward. I'm going to pop over here. What have we got here? Built-in information. We can also put in a load of other third-party tools. Like I said at the start, we could put um, Enviro. We could put Aura 2. We could put loads of things in. What's this? Info. Enable texture streaming. Limit your draw calls. Okay. Should we, should we do that? Should we just... Let's just, let's just click random things. Let's just, just do it, baby. Let's just let's just not even read the instructions. Let's just go around clicking stuff. I think, I think that's how we're going to roll. So I now literally just selected a few presets, clicked a few generate buttons, missing wind prefab, add it to your sink. Okay, add, add, I've added the wind prefab to my sink. There you go. And, oh, why, why is that turned off? Let's turn that on. I like that. That was, that was pretty funky. Okay. Righty. Okay. Let's find our camera to see what was actually attached to him. There's there's the camera that was in the scene. So he's got a post processing that's been adding onto it. Okay, this is this is um this is this is pretty pretty cool. Let's click I'm really shocked about how Oh, now we weren't that big. We need to make that. Pop, get rid of you. Pop. Here we are in Aquarius Max's Wasteland 3 with ambient skies from procedural worlds. With that sky. They're completely different than what we saw a second ago. This is, this is crazy. That, I just literally threw it in. And, and clicked a few buttons and we've got a completely different feel to this demo scene now I really want to I really should sit down and, and read these tips and instructions should we? we we'll do that another time we'll sit there and read all these tips we'll read these guides and these unity tips so let's let's, let's, let's go crazy I've, got, I've gone a bit greeny now we're going to click play a completely different feel. We've got a completely different feel going on. I'm just gonna. I've got. I've got an easy, even crazier idea. Let's change this to be. Um, let's go post processing and go to fusion burn. Now we can play about with changing these settings in one time, which is. The magical power of ambient skies. Let's go into the skies itself and let's have some next. Oh, completely different. Next. Again, completely different look. Let me just, I don't want to pause it because it kind of takes away some of the, the magic of it. Oh, this looks nice. This looks nice. And if I go here to the sun settings, let's increase the intensity. That's wow. And let's change the skybox exposure. Ooh, wow. Ooh, you can see in the at the top there. Let's move down. Let's change the rotation. Wow. Oh my word. Those shadows just moving along on the ground just freaking me out. Okay. And whereabouts is how high is the sun in the sky? Let's let's change that. Actually really changing the time of day here. That is freaky. Doing all of that in one time. And then when we get out and saved our settings, go back in. It's like, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, let's... Oh, that's nuts. Let's go and say next one. Back to that one. No, oh, you still got it saved from before. That's freaky. Ambient settings. Let's not touch any of that. I'm really going to sit here and play about with these a lot more. 
But the fact that I can just sit here. Let's go and actually change it completely. Procedural skies. It's just now completely different. Clear day. Next. Sunny evening. Next. Clear night. Foggy morning. What's a foggy morning like? Oh, wow. Got a bit of a fallout feel going on. It does... The quality of these two fantastic assets together. Foggy day. Got these two fantastic assets together. Overcast morning. Horizon settings. Enable horizon sky. I like that. I want to, I want to play with this with Aura 2 as well. Have some volumetric line coming in with Aura 2. Volumetric fog and mist. This is uh, th this needs a lot more investigation, my furry friends. But uh, straight away, I'd have to say to you that this is a pleasure to use. It really is. It is a pleasure to play about with this pack. I'm having a lot of fun. There's a lot, you know, in itself. There's a lot of pre-made post-processing as well. Contrast burn. I love it when you get a load of pre-made post-processing so you don't have to worry about yourself. This is Ambient Skies from Procedure Worlds. I am incredibly chuffed. Playing about with the Wasteland 3 pack from Aquarius Max. My life will never be the same again. I'm just going to be chucking this in, clicking random buttons, and people are going to think that I really knew what I was doing to make my scenes look beautiful. Thank you so much, Procedure Worlds. And if you want to play about with this yourself, grab hold of Ambient Skies from the Unity Asset Store and also Wasteland 3 Pack from Aquarius Max on the Unity Asset Store. It is a AAA environment. It is a lovely pack. Some brilliant props. And it's got fantastic wood as well. Well, my furry friends, that's it for me now. If you do like these videos and want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button. Tell all of your friends, your neighbours, random people on the street that the messy cola is playing about with really bright skies is making the world a shiny place that's a bit better the eyes aren't hurting so much now are they if you do like it click it till next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if i've got a new video coming out till next time